What up you guys? Today is an awesome day. I'm not gonna install them today, but I got some in the mail today. It's a real big package. Got an awesome deal, and I'll tell you why it was an awesome deal in a bit. So let me turn my camera over and show you what it could be, what must might possibly be, but let's find out. Ooh, the box. I got some Corbu, 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 the seats, Corbu, Carbu. Uh, I didn't go with any Recaros. I was about to go with Sparkos, but these seats just look really nice. And they've been making seats for a long time, even though they're not like Recaros. But, you know, they're not like the most popular thing out there that everyone usually gets. But I don't really care. I, these, I love these seats. And I feel like they're going to make, they're going to look really freaking good in the Mazda Speed 3. So, let's open it up and show you what it is. And these seats, I got them for half the price. For $400 brand new because they were cut improperly and they weren't gonna sell you know they weren't gonna sell it on the website so I saw it on eBay and it said that it was cut bad and that's why they were selling it for four hundred dollars it is it is a brand new seat and I'll show you the imperfections but to me it didn't the imperfections didn't make me not want to spend the four hundred for it and spend eight hundred and some dollars for the brand new one even though this is new too is just there's some imperfections which the other one you know doesn't have imperfections so let me show and here's my seat guys i got the rrs yeah the r the corbaru rrs seat and this thing is gonna look hella nice man the difference is the there's one logo here the pictures I've seen is that there's a like a white stitching logo here as well. But I'm not too sure on that. So it has these side bolsters that keep you sorta of in place. They're not the like most aggressive side bolsters. These are what are gonna hold me in pretty good. These are a little too wide, so I don't think they're gonna really keep me in place. And then back here, I don't know if you can see, but it kind of has like that carbon fiber kind of look in the back, which is real dope. It has the branding on the back. And yeah, as uh, the imperfections I was talking about, so you can see this right here, these are the two imperfections right here. It should be straight, it should be like straight like that. So it has these imperfections. And this on the side right here, which as you can see, see all that? Those are the main imperfections. But for $400 for a nice seat, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it. And now, let me uh, sit in it. And, uh, and dude, these seats are pretty comfortable, really light, and I'm going to have fun. Put them on uh, on the car. One thing I did do, which I'm gonna have to return, they're like 15 bucks. Was I got some um, brackets, like seat ma uh, seat mountain brackets, for the for my rails that I have in my other box. But as you can see, I didn't know these would have came with them. If I go down here, here it is. I got the mountain brackets right here. So, I didn't even have to buy them. <laughs> they already came with the seat, which is surprising. I didn't think they would have, but they did. So, that's cool. I'm going to put the seat brackets on and just kind of and just kind of leave it at that today. I'm not installing these seats. I don't know when I will install them because I have the mountain brackets on. I'll probably install them tomorrow. So yeah, let me get that mountain bracket on there and show you that and then yeah. Okay you guys, I'm so excited. We're about to put the aftermarket seat in my Speed 3 and it's gonna change the game. Watch, watch, watch. Woo! 
Ooh, this thing looks so nice. Look at it. Bam. Right, this is the, what is it? The Carbaru RRS aftermarket seat. We're about to put it in the Speed 3 and see how it looks. I only got the driver's side because I'm too broke for the passenger side, but eventually we'll get there and you. Yeah. As you can see from the last video, I put the Japanese muscle sticker on the top, on the bottom right there. I can have it hanging down like this, but I just don't want to really drag it all over the place, so. Like that, it's fine for now. Pretty much, while you open the door, we'll slide the seat back. There's gonna be these plastic pieces right here. You'll just kind of pop them off, and let's pop them off. Finally got the wrench, so I can uh, take them off. Okay, so it's gonna be a 14 millimeter bolt on four sides, and then you just kind of pull them off. Once you pull them off, you'll get the seat off. And over here, we're gonna have to take this cable off. And then, I think that's it. Just those two, and then go from there. Okay, so I got all the four points off. Now, we had to take this, just kind of sling it back off, to take these cables off. Now I have to take this off right here. As you can see, this metal piece is connected there, right here. There's gonna be some little clips to take off so you can take this thing off from the wiring harness and let's go from there. Yeah, I'm almost done taking this uh, OEM seat off. And let's get to it. Okay, so I finally took the seat out. Once you're done cleaning everything, I still haven't cleaned in anything yet. But pretty much, you'll take off the, um, the pretty much the seatbelt hook. Take it off from the OEM seat right here. I got it right here, which is the cable right here. Now I just have to tighten up this 14 millimeter screw to the aftermarket seat I've got right here, and let's do that, and then. Rewire the wire and got sort of the seat in. I just don't have it, you know, onto the frame yet. Which this has the wire coming out from the bottom, which I need to connect first. So let's go from there. Now, getting all the four bolts on, I connected the one sensor to the seat belt. I haven't connected the other two sensors. I know one's gonna be for the, uh, I need a resistor that hasn't came in yet for the airbag light, so I'm still gonna have an airbag light on for a few days to take care of that. And the other third connector, I do not know what it is. I'm guessing it's for heated seats, which I don't really need, but if it is for third, for the heating seats, let me know. I might get heating seats integrated to this. It would be awesome feature, but I'm not sure at this point. I'm just getting all the four bolts on. I got the first one down here. I just have to measure from this one and the other two. So let's go get those situated. I just hope this bracket it kind of lifts up a little bit right here. Hopefully, passenger side like passenger um people don't hit this <laughs> with their feet I don't really give a fuck because uh, I just care for my driving experience because you know race car but I got an open end wrench 14 and 17 which of course I'm just gonna use a 14 and then just tighten this from there and uh we'll go for a test drive okay so Hopefully you guys like it, dude. It looks fucking bomb, man. Here's the original seat. Right there. I'll probably sell it to one of my, um, there's a local place that salvages Mazda Speed 3s. So I might uh, sell that seat to them. But if I want full profit for the seat, I'll probably sell it for like 150, 200 bucks. I might also do that. But if I can help uh, some people out, I might do that as well just for shit and giggles but 
There it is, you guys. Just for the driver's seat. I will get to the passenger seat one day, maybe. It depends on my girlfriend and depends on my funds. But we'll go from there. And there you guys go. I'm going to take you guys for a quick drive. It looks freaking amazing. I just need the harnesses, which I don't really care because I'm not going to track the car anytime soon. But yeah, let's go for a quick drive and show you how it is. And here's the seats, man. Um, I'm going to back up. I'm kind of in a hill, so I really don't know like how the seats are right now. So let me back up and kind of get everything situated. These are the best times which I wish I had a freaking GoPro. I'll get one soon. I might get one for my birthday, but I kind of want my front grill from my girlfriend if she'll buy it for me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty much done with um, putting dumping money into the Speed 3. I'm just going to have fun with it now. All I really need is that tur the upgraded turbo, which is going to be 1300 bucks. I'm not gonna buy right now, but sometime in I'll say four months, I'll get that upgraded turn up, uh, turbo and get that um, tuned and stuff. I'm still tuning on this with 93 pump gas, uh, um, 93. I'm on my fourth, five, fifth revision, so I need like about three three more re revisions before I'm fully tuned on 93 and then I'll go ED E85 and so that's gonna be fun these seats are really snug I do f sit a lot lower but honestly it's not that bad I might tilt my um, steering wheel a little lower for me but dude these feel fucking great man and they look great I, I'm so excited for buying these seats and I do not um, regret it at all. I bought these seats. These are Carburu RRS seats for 400 bucks. Not the for 400 bucks even. And they do have a few imperfections right here, like I showed you. But man, they feel freaking great. I'm gonna go test drive them and kind of show you a few videos. It's just a little hard to drive and film with you guys be, until I get that GoPro and yeah so I'll show you guys my first impression and man can't wait to do some corners there's no corners around here really to have my car go fast oh man these these seats do feel good though they don't feel uncomfortable the seating position is uh, pretty organic. It doesn't feel like it's aftermarket, you know what I'm saying? The bolsters up here on the shoulders, like when I had it on the ground on my on my house floor, it didn't feel like it would support me too much, but it does a lot more when actually in the car, which feels nice. My ass feels great sides of my hips feel a little bolstered but I won't really figure that out until I do like a complete u-turn you know what I'm saying oh there is some bumps that might be oh shit about to be my next thing is pay someone to actually uh, get my suspension on point a professional to do my you know my suspension because that's really important I do corner a lot good, like really good. It's just dealing with bumps. It's fucking harsh as fuck. As you can tell, the camera's probably moving fucking everywhere. Oh, fuck, man. I'm getting out of this shit. This is too harsh over here. But yeah, man. This thing feels great. Do a small little pull for y'all. See how these feet, 
the seats. See how these seats kind of. There is a car coming, so I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit. I still get a little jitters from the pull, but I feel a lot more comfortable in this seat than I did my OEM seats. Which is why I bought these seats, is just to feel more comfortable driving, you know, going fast. That's why you buy racing seats. That's what the purpose of them is for, you know what I'm saying? good I can't believe the world of difference man and I'm just gonna u-turn and go back home that's pretty much it uh, that's pretty much it y'all I do have one of my neighbors over here with hazard lights, so I'm gonna might check to see if I can help them out just because I'm nice, you know what I'm saying? And also because they have a, what is it called? They have a um, FRS, so maybe if I'm nice enough, they'll let me drive it. <laughs> nah, I don't really care though. And I got this Novo. Best. Best thing for a good nicotine buzz. If you like that sort of stuff. Oh man, it feels fucking fantastic though. Let's see if these guys need any help. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I went to go see what what happened to that guy's FRS, but he was just on a phone call. I'm guessing he's a security guard or police officer, which is even cooler that I helped him out, you know? So he can help me out sometime, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> but he was a cool cat. I, he's like one of, not my neighbors, but he's like two streets down, and um, he was just telling me how he had a the uh, Mazda 3, he didn't have the Speed 3, but he had the hatchback uh, Mazda 3, which is exactly the same thing, except, you know, the different engine turbo, and how he missed, how he would always see me drive by, and how he missed it, and yeah, that's just one thing to take on it, is if you ever, if you ever see someone on the side of the road, if someone needs his help, man, just, just kind of go at it your way and help somebody, you know what I'm saying? Eventually the good the good shit you do it for people it'll come right back to you. You know what I'm saying? Even though like a lot of a lot of us are stuck in our ways and just busy on our own You know lives that we have to all the bullshit we have to deal with it's just nice to try and help out others because Eventually it'll come back around. It's like karma if you do bad shit bad shit's gonna come around to you You know what I'm saying? But in that note I'll see you guys later. And um, have, have a happy New Year's. Hope you guys had an awesome Christmas. And peace.